Hi, this is Paul from paulbrappy.com. I wanted to continue on from the last educational video I did uh, where I talked about fib retracements and uh, using that from overbought to oversold on the stochastic and also using the fib extensions for risk to reward. Uh, what I want to do today is go through a trade that I've recently traded or um, and just taken out. Um, but one of the things I want to talk about here is actually projecting target zones um, using the FIB extension tool as well. So I've got FS, sorry, FISV, it's a mouthful to say, uh, here, stock on the daily time frame. And one of the things that uh, really sort of caught my eye on this is that we, we, we gapped and ran up above and broke out of this range that I've defined here and then came back down into the range. So that for me, there was... Um, Earnings previous to that, then there was a news event that actually made this really motor, but it was rejected. And a lot of profit taking was made that brought it back into this, um, this range bound period that I've defined here. And again, on the daily time frame, yeah, I, again, I'm going to do other videos to show you uh, how to uh, put um, trend channels and things like that on. But this one is not trending. FISV. Uh, is uh, really got a really good defined um, range that we can put with our zones in here where it's tested the top and bottom multiple times. And then when we get that move out, that's what I'm interested in. This big rejection candle here that tried to break out, moved down, pulled back, but didn't close the gap. So then I go to a smaller time frame to uh, to measure this, one of my favourite time frames for this is how the hour, the hourly or even the seventy eight minutes. Seventy eight minutes is divisible into a tra whole trading day e uh, equally. Uh, so this is uh, one of my favourites, if you like. So what I want to do is just zoom in a little bit here and go through some of the things that we talked about in the previous video, and then project the target. So one of the things we talked about is the the FIB retracement, when we go from oversold, so down at these lows here, oversold to overbought. This was the high point on that pivot where we rejected that first 78 minute candle which you see here, we gapped up, we moved up and loads of people took profit and we came back down again. So we've got two defined pivots here for our FIB retracement, oversold to overbought. It's this retracement that I'm interested in to look for, for a, a further trade. So I'm going to go to my tools, uh, GAN and FIB tools here. I'm going to go to the FIB retracement. This is a two-click operation. We go from the low to the high. And then click a second time. Remember, I've saved this as a default uh, when I did the previous video. We're at the 382, 0 0.5, 618, and 786 is the last chance saloon. This came back into my 85% probability zone, if you like. The 382 to the 50, the green zone. So we, we gapped up rejected the gap, came down, pulled back, but found support in this 382 to 50 fib zone there. Really, really crucial. That is really good. So then what we're looking for is a target. So it's not just this previous high. If we get um, this behavior that pulls back into this green zone here or the amber zone or the red zone, We've got, a we've got to put a target in mind so we can work out that risk to reward. To do that, we want to look at, I'm just going to define these a little bit here. That pivot that we've just taken there. Okay. And then the low point on the pullback, which is here. So we shot up. We pulled back. We've done a fib retracement. Now we've got two pivots. We've got the high pivot here and the low pivot for the retracement. So this is we're going to use a fib extension tool here. Now, one of the fib uh, numbers that we look at is a traditional fib. It's a 1.27. The other ones are 1 1.1 and 110. Now, this is I've been using this for years. So for those purists out there, it is not a fib level, but it's a level that has to help me form that target zone has worked for years and years and it's what I use the tool for in this situation. So what I want to do is look for 
the, the trend base for abstention. This is a three click operation. We click at the low point of that pullback, the first click. The second click is at the high point before the pullback that was rejected there. Then we come back down to that low point again. What I want to do now is I'm going to go to my defaults. Go to template and I want the target 127 put in there. So what I've got is a 1.1. So what we're doing is we're extending from the, from here to here is one whole one. So we've got a 1.1 to 1.27. Now, charts can get a little bit cluttered. So do the simple thing. Do the easy thing. Get a rectangle and draw in your target zone between those two lines, the 110 to the 127. Okay. Draw that in there. Let's change it color. Let's change it to green because that's our target zone, if you like. And then click on that fib extension and delete it. You've got your levels now for that potential target zone. So at this stage, we've pulled back. We've gone from overbought to oversold. Now we're looking for an entry. Remember back on that daily time frame, there was this defined range. We're not going to go long until it breaks out of that range again. So let's put a line, let's put a line in there. We want to go when it breaks out of this range. So above the whole dollar mark as well. So 110.08. Okay. 110.08. Let's change that green for go. Let's make it a little wider. Okay. So that's our entry. Our stop for this is going to be just below this low pivot here. Okay. Let's change that to red for danger. So now we have gone through and defined where our entry, our sensible entry is going to be and where our stop loss is going to be just below this pivot. So now we're going back to that previous video where we work out that risk to reward using the FIB um, extension. So we go to the same tool again, trend based FIB extension. This time, remember, we click on the stop loss, we click on the entry, and then we click on the entry again. Again, these, because it the trading view remembers what you used last, you need to go to the cog, you need to go to the template, and go to your risk to reward template here. And again, on the risk reward, I have the 0 0.5, the one, we can get rid of the 127 if you like there. Okay, the 1.6, which is which is one of the biggest things for me, is I need a risk reward of one to 1.6 minimum to my target zone. As it happens, this is a one to 1.2, okay? So this is a great risk reward, uh, we, we've got, a really great opportunity here. I'm already out of this caveat. Um, I'm already out of this. I, I was in and out on multiple trading opportunities on smaller time frames of this. But what I did was use the daily to define this range. As soon, <clears throat> as soon as I saw this big move out and rejection, I defined the range on the daily. I came down to the 78 minutes. It was really um, uh, one of the biggest time frames I use when I'm using stocks intraday to measure those stochastic and those pullbacks against those moves. We use the FIB retracement from this low where we were oversold to the overbought rejection. And then we re we put the retracement in there, the 382 to the 50, to the 618 to the 786. We This found support in the 382 to 50. For me, after lots of years experience, this has got an 85% probability of hitting this target zone. So how did we measure that target zone? Again, we looked at the pivot points from that rejection to the low point of the pullback. We used the FIB extension. I'm going to do it again just to remind you how to do that. So let's delete it. Let's delete all of that. What I want to do is I want to go to my FIB extension tool. I'm going to go from the low point here to the high and then back to the low point. I'm going to put on my 127 and the 1 1.1. In fact, that's easier. Go to my template and do my target 127. Click OK. And then I drew the rectangle in there. And that's my target zone. That's, that's the target that I want it to hit. 
might not necessarily get there, but it helps me then develop that risk to reward. Again, I'm going over it because you need to repeat this sort of thing. So once I've drawn that, um, that zone in, let's clean the chart up, get rid of that. I've got my sensible entry strategy breaking out of this range again. Okay, it failed last time. It may fail again, but this is a sensible strategy. We had a measured pullback that we measured. Okay, again, to do that, we used the Fib retracement. We went from the low point oversold to the high point overbought, and we pulled back right in that green zone there. Perfect. Okay, then we worked out the risk reward. Fib. Trend based of extension, we go from the stop to the entry, click twice on the entry, change the template to risk to reward, click OK, and we're a one to two into that target zone. So good risk to reward there. How I actually traded this was slightly different. Okay, you see how this is a stepped move. On a lower time frame using my expert algo, this was this was fantastic. So if I go to a 15 minute time frame, for example, uh, and use put the expert algo on there, there were some great opportunities to trade here. Again, we got the six star buy signal. I'm only interested in buys would go along here. Six star buy signal just here to go along again. Another one here. Another one there. 39 minutes. Another great uh, trading. Uh, time frame again divisible into that whole trading day these were the trades okay we got a six star and a five star buy coming out of this support zone here remember sensible entry strategy meant i wouldn't be able to go long until we got to there but i got a good risk reward to my target zone so you go okay next day another six star buy we got a sensible stop just below this pivot that's a good buy that's a good buy and then recently, we've got another six star buy into that target zone. So again, move down the time frames, understood how this is behaving and some great trading opportunities there. So go back to the 78 minute and that's the move that we've played. Right now, we've got a trend channel forming uh, intraday, which is really, really good. And we could use that for a trading stop position. But again, that's a, that's a different lesson. But I just wanted to really reiterate the previous video, those 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 pullbacks when we're going from oversold to overboard or overbought to oversold against the main move. When we get that 382 to 50, that's an 85% probability we're going to go on and make a new high there. Okay, if we don't, we still got a great risk reward to get to that rejection point. 0.5 to 0.618, 80%, then 618 to 786, uh, 75% uh, to 70% bit too deep for me i prefer mining these these two zones here which is you know really really high probability moves central entry strategy and again today's main point and the addition to what we did in the last video was to look for that target zone so you can actually work out your risk to reward after that measured pullback so hopefully that helps um i will be doing plenty more of these videos probably one a week uh, I think the next one we're going to be looking at is how to draw trend channels uh, going down the time frame so you can understand how the behavior is working in a non-linear fashion. So everybody had a great true hope everybody has a great uh, weekend and I'll speak to you all really soon.